it started off just being a normal person that would go to the club you know once a week on the weekend it started off as that nothing um, I guess you know hardcore uh, per se um, and then slowly 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 uh, I got poached to actually be a promoter so that's how it started you know that they saw maybe the personality that I had uh, the people that I was bringing in uh, so you know the management kind of poached me and they said you know you might be a, a good fit uh, you know for someone to actually promote our club uh, and in turn we'll give you uh, incentive you know we'll give you uh, money per head that you bring in you know, we'll give you free drinks uh, and that's kind of how uh, you know it started you know and so back then you know you turned 18 you know what I thought you know what a bit of extra money on the side would work uh, you know you wouldn't have to pay uh, money for you know uh, alcohol that people would pay uh, exorbitant amounts of money for um, you know you're kind of the cool guy you know people drop your name on the door and in they go without waiting in line and you know it, that life is glorified unfortunately in the west uh, and unfortunately you know that lifestyle uh, it dragged me in from about 18 to about 24 um, and I guess as every year progressed, uh, I moved on to different things, you know, so other opportunities open up as they would working in a particular industry, um, you know, from clubs, uh, it turned into concerts. Uh, so, you know, whenever they had like Asha or Chris Brown come out, you know, these uh, bigger concerts would ask me to promote for them. Unfortunately, along the way, you know, I did get caught up in different vices. Uh, you know, so, you know, you had unfortunately, uh, you know, drug abuse, you had alcohol abuse, uh, you know, there was gambling and obviously the other vices that uh, come along with this lifestyle. So, subhanAllah, yani, it, kinda, it came to an end uh, at the age of 24. Um, I had my 24th birthday party, you know, booked out like a club in the city, you know, had the, you know, a table, a typical Australian, you know, you have a hotel room, you have a table. Um, and unfortunately, I, I didn't, I didn't see the night through. I ended up uh, having an overdose of alcohol and drugs, passed out, uh, night ended quite fast. Um, woke up the next morning, don't know what had happened, saw videos of myself, you know, being circulated around uh, friends and online and... I just thought to myself, was this really the lifestyle that I wanted for myself? Uh, you know, I was engaged in this, you know, for about six years. Imagine for the next six years of my life, you know, do I want to engage in the same thing? Am I going to get anywhere with my life? Am I even going to, am I going to be alive to see 30? So those questions kind of took place and they took place quite fast in my mind. Uh, and I actually made a conscious decision that day. That was it. It's not happening again. You just deep reflection very deep reflection you know in that one day i just made the decision you know what cold turkey I'm not doing it again and alhamdulillah yani from then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala positioned me with good brothers good environment um and then opportunities opened up in the dawah and that's kind of where uh yani allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may have used that skill set you know <laughs> calling people to Haram per se, now calling them to, to khair, you know, calling them to, to feed the poor and needy, to visit the sick in hospital, visit the elderly in the nursing homes, um, you know, uh, be involved in, in different institutions, alhamdulillah, like I teach at one of the largest Quran colleges uh, in Australia, um, involved in a, a, a Quran project. So I feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, took me through this journey in His ultimate wisdom. Uh, yeah, and, it, and allowed me to see the other side. Unfortunately, I knew a lot of people that never saw that uh, that side. Uh, they unfortunately passed away in that in that scene. So, yeah, and alhamdulillah, I'm I'm very grateful. Um, and like Allah mentions in the Quran, you know, la in shakartum la You know, and if you are grateful, um, you know, I will surely give you more. And so this is a, like yeah, a very uh, popular ayah that resonates with me. You know, because. Uh, and I'm very grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't take my soul at that point in time.